Hey, what's up guys? And welcome to the Head Start Lab Series Volume 2. Now this is a free tutorial created at the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that puts you inside a real recording studio where you learn from legendary professionals in their recording studios. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you some very affordable studio microphones. This tutorial was created from an actual tutoring session at the Recording Connection. In addition to learning in a real studio, all of our audio apprentices receive free unlimited tutoring included with their education. Now let's go ahead and begin. Okay guys, so today we're gonna go over one type of microphone that you're gonna need in order to get started in your own home studio. Now there's a handful of excellent microphones to choose from, but in this case, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the most affordable condenser microphone, one that can get you started recording music right away and at an easy price. But before we go over our options, let's go ahead and talk about what is a condenser microphone. So a condenser microphone is a type of microphone consisting of a capacitor with one fixed plate and the other forming the diaphragm. Now the diaphragm is actually moved around by sound waves. A capacitor has two plates with voltage between them. In a condenser mic, one of these plates is made out of a very light material that acts as the diaphragm. The diaphragm vibrates when struck by sound waves, changing the distance between the two plates and therefore changing its capacity. In order for this to work completely, there needs to be an energy source, like a built-in battery or phantom power. Now, of course, there are many different types of microphones out there, such as ribbon mics and dynamic mics, and we do actually teach all about them in our awesome recording connection program and through our many student videos. Okay, so right now, let's go ahead and take a quick look at some different pattern types so we can understand the different ways that microphones pick up sound. Now, here at the very top, what we have here is something called a figure eight. This is a type of microphone that's gonna pick up sound bi-directional, so on either side of the capsule. The next, right underneath that, what we have here is something called hypercardioid. Now this is gonna go ahead and pick up sound mostly on one side of the capsule, but also lightly on the other. Right below that, what we have here is something called cardioid. Now what cardioid does is basically what a hypercardioid does, but it doesn't really pick up as much sound on one of the ends, usually the back end. So there's a front end of the microphone and that's usually you know, where you're gonna capture the most sound. Right below that, you have a hypercardioid, which actually picks up more sound in the front. And then what we have here at the very bottom is something called omnidirectional, which is a microphone that's gonna pick up sound in all directions. Okay, so now I think we're ready to look at some microphones. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the MXL V63M Condenser Studio Microphone. This actually comes with a shock mount and case, and all that for only $99. Now the MXL has a one inch diaphragm, six micron thick diaphragm for high sensitivity and detailed recordings and balanced transformerless output for low noise. It also includes a spider shock mount, heavy duty brass enclosure, 30 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz frequency response, a cardioid pickup pattern, a max sound pressure level of 130 dB and requires a 48 volt phantom power. Up next is the Behringer B1 large diaphragm cardioid condenser microphone starting at $99. Now this microphone has a one inch capsule, it has a frequency range of 20 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz. It's a cardio pickup type with a switchable high pass filter. It also has a negative 10 dB pad, a sound pressure level of 148 dB with low self noise and requires a 48 volt phantom power. It also boasts a gold plated balance XLR connector and comes with its own protective case. And finally, we have the AKG Perception 120 condenser microphone at $99. Now this microphone has a 0.667 inch capsule. It's a cardio pattern type with a frequency range of 20 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz. It has a dB pad that'll take your sound down to negative 20 dB and a maximum sound pressure level of 155 dB. It requires a 48 volt phantom power and has a gold plated three pin XLR connector type. Okay, now that we've reviewed all three mics, let's go over my personal pick. And in this video, my personal pick is the Behringer B1 large diaphragm cardioid condenser mic. Now it's my personal pick for three major reasons. Now first, it's on par with its competitor's price point. Secondly, it includes so much more with the case and shock mount. It also has a quality gold-plated XLR connector. And the final reason, it's because it has a great frequency range. So I hope this video helps you make an informed decision when you make your purchases. And of course, I hope you guys enjoyed the review.
Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finance is a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.